Okay, boys and girls, so this is really cool. What I actually did before was I drew a whole picture on here, cut it out, and then I put this in my oven. This is plastic that shrinks. And when you do that, it shrinks down to this size. I'm gonna be drawing a space shuttle on here, and it's gonna shrink down this small. And what we're gonna be doing with it is gluing it onto the front of a nightlight, and then you'll have a nightlight that's gonna shine up, shine, um, that you can put in your bedroom and at night when you turn it on, then it's gonna look super, super cool. So that's really fun. So that's what we're gonna be um, doing right now. And so the first step of this shrinky dink plastic is that it needs to be roughed up a little bit. So you're gonna be taking um, the sandpaper and you're gonna be rubbing it on here. This is actually the scratchy side and this is the, the smooth side. So you're gonna use this and I want for you to go over the entire thing and if you're doing it right, you should be able to lift it up and kind of see scratches on there. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now that you're done doing that, now we're actually gonna start to draw our space shuttle. We're actually not gonna start at the tippy tippy top. We're gonna come down a little bit because what we're doing is getting the orbiter right here. So we're gonna start by kind of coming like this and like this. So you can kind of do that. It's almost like a, a rounded V that's coming down. And remember, there are so many lines on the space shuttle that if you mess up like I just did there, it's no big deal. No one's gonna know. So what we're gonna do now is make a line going across. And now we're gonna make a line coming all the way down, all the way across here and like this. And we're actually gonna come and we're gonna put some lines on here too. This is the whole outside of the shuttle that's used to protect um, all the payload that's inside. They put actually, if they're gonna bring something up to the space station or something like that, they will put that inside here. The crew is actually right here in the front. There's an engine up here on the front, so we're gonna make a little line like that. And then we can put another one. You could even put some designs on here if you like to make it look just a little bit more fancy. There's actually a star tracker right here. So you can put that on there. And there are some safety hatches over here that you can put on here where they can get out if they need to. And then there are a few more engines right here and the people are actually in the side they actually access it right here you can put the access hatch right there that's how they get inside and if, on at least if you ever want to zero in on those and then pull back out that's fine so the crew is actually up in the front here now that we have that part finished we're actually going to put some um, engine nozzles down here and we're going to do it like this we're going to go like this and like this, like this, and like this. And then we're gonna go like this, so that it looks like flames can come out of there. So when back, if you've been in my art class before, you know about the ellipse, that's really good. We're gonna put an ellipse right there. Now there's actually a vertical tail, and when you're looking straight down onto the um, space shuttle, you can't see it. So we're actually gonna put it right here, and then you can just color that in black. This is the part, it's, it's right here. It's the part that sticks up. It's the tail, but we can't, just can't see it when we're going from this direction. And if you wanna have some fun with it, you can um, put some lines going like this if you like, just to make your orbiter look a little bit fancier. Kind of fun. Now what we have to do is we have to get some wings on this thing. They call it the delta wing. We're gonna start from about where we did this kind of rounded triangle here. We're actually gonna come out a little bit like here and stop. Notice that I'm not going all the way. And I'm gonna come out here and stop. Then down here, I'm actually gonna come out about this far. And then I'm gonna come up and in, up and in. Now this is where we can start to have a little bit of fun. 
You can put some designs here on the outside. We always see that. You could put a circle here and write NASA on there if you want to. You could put an American flag over here on this side so that we know that it's an American shuttle. You can put a few more little screws on here or something like that. And this part is almost finished, but I do have one thing that I want for you to do. Whatever your code is, I'm gonna ask that you put it on here because at the end, we're gonna be cutting this up and I won't know whose is whose unless your name is on there somewhere. So if you are LB23 or whatever your code is, why don't you find a little place to put it so it makes it look like it's part of the airplane. So maybe right here we would write LB23. And we can call it the LB23 Orbiter. So we're going to have you put your code on there. It could be that the counselors will need to go around and make sure that you have the right code on there so we know whose is whose. Now, hey, we need to get this thing up in space. So we are going to draw the external tank. If you need to pause the video right now for people to catch up, this would be a good time. Okay, now we're going to get the external tank on here. This is the, the tank that is absolutely filled with liquid oxygen and it is the thing that is going to propel it up into the air. So we're going to go like this and put a, this tank on here. We can put another one of these things on here. There's a little valve up here that you can put up there on the top. And this is the part that um, brings it up the last part. The two, there's gonna be two tanks that we're gonna put on there in a little bit. They're the ones that get up, um, get them up 24 miles up into the air. This is the one that's gonna bring it 70 miles into the air. And this one will actually combust in the air. It will separate, once it gets the shuttle high enough, it'll take off, it'll fall away. And then what they'll do, it is it will just disintegrate as it comes back through uh, into the atmosphere and it will fall apart into the Indian Ocean. They don't even go back to get it. So you could come here and you could put some different things on, on here. You can make some imaginary little things on yours to make it look more spacey. You can do whatever you want on there. Some people, um, on some of them, it has like lines like this and you can put some lines like here. So this now is your external tank. And now we need to get our solid rocket boosters, or as they like to call in the business, SRBs. An SRB is another tank that's off here onto the side. And so basically, if you put a triangle like this and have it come all the way down, all the way down, and then over here, put another triangle. It's almost like when we used to draw castles. And you're gonna come all the way down and all the way down. And here again, you're gonna end up with these rocket boosters that are gonna take this thing up, up, up. Now these actually are the ones that are going to bring it first up the 24 miles. And when it does, these will just break away and fall off. And these actually fall into the Atlantic Ocean and they go back and they get them. They reuse them. There is so much fuel inside of these that they are 1,300,000 pounds at launch, and they're only, um, let's see, they're only 200,000 by the time they get picked up. So there's a ton of fuel in here that gets burned up in, in takeoff. And that's what's getting the rocket up into, or the shuttle, uh, the orbiter into space. Now this whole thing is called the space shuttle, all three parts. It's just this part that's gonna end up being all the way in space, the orbit, orbiter here. Now, what you're gonna be able to do once you're done is you're gonna be able to color yours in. So you can take this and you can color this blue if you like. And all of this when we shrink it is gonna look really, really cool. So you can come here. If you wanna make yours a little bit fancier, you know, you can come here with the red. I don't have quite enough stripes on here. But you can come in here and you can color it however you like. 
And then when you're finished, we're going to end up cutting the whole thing out and shrinking it at home. And then we're gonna glue it onto the nightlight and you're gonna have this beautiful space shuttle um, nightlight. So I'm just gonna stop here so that you can go ahead and get started on coloring yours in. Hopefully you're, you've ended up with something that you really like and um, you will be able to do this on your own. So have fun.